is a movement afoot in Abbotsford that might have the mayor and a couple of other city councillors slightly nervous. A couple hundred people descended on City Hall today to make known their disappointment in the decision last week to say no to a BC Housing and Abbotsford Community Services plan. Together, they were going to create an apartment building for a certain group of men, something called supportive housing. When council voted, it was a tie. A tie is a loss. Now, we did offer Mayor Bruce Bamman the opportunity to join us tonight. In fact, we've been asking for him for a couple weeks now. His people declined, however. But in studio with us to talk about this decision is Abbotsford City Councillor Henry Braun and a couple of other folks who were here just last week from Abbotsford Community Services, Nadine Power and Rod Santiago. Thanks for being here. Thanks Thank you. Us. Thank you for the invite. Councillor Braun, let's start with you because you were part of the vote. You voted in favour of this project. Were you surprised when it didn't get passed? Yes, I was, uh, because it had uh, a long history, uh, going back to 2006 or 8, which is long before I came to council. And because of the things that we had done and agreed to along the way, including the road dedication to actually give community services a large enough footprint, uh, I was surprised at the decision, yes. Did you know going into the vote that it was dicey? Yes, I, I thought it might be 5-3. Mm -hmm. You were hoping the mayor was going to cast a vote in favour. Yes. And he didn't. <laughs> yes. Nadine, talk about the, I called it a protest, but you're not calling it a protest. It was at City Hall today, and you folks didn't actually organize it. No, we didn't. It was wonderful. It was encouraging to see the community come out um, in rain or snow and cold and support the homeless individuals and Abbotsford Community Services and to just say that we need to do this. Mm -hmm. Rod, talk to me if you will because when you were here last week we were talking about sort of the numbers and, and the city council sort of indicated, the, city, the half of city council that voted against the project, indicated that they had received a lot of input from the public against this project. But that's not your understanding, is it? What we saw is that the majority of people, and what we saw today is that the majority of people were saying this is something that we need in community. What we heard is that this divided community, what we're actually seeing in the beauty of this is that it's galvanizing community, galvanizing community to say that the homeless are important to us mm -hmm. and we can do something about it. Mm -hmm. We uh, spoke with one of the councillors who voted against the project who wasn't available to join us tonight, but he said there's plenty of uh, shelters, there's plenty of housing for the homeless in Abbotsford, we don't need any more. Would you agree? <sighs> If there's even one homeless person on the street, then there's not enough housing. We're seeing more than one homeless person on the street, so there's not enough housing. Mm -hmm. Do you think, uh, Councillor Braun, that there's a, a mindset that uh, if you build it, they will come? So if you don't build it, they won't be there, and we can kind of get rid of, you know, that crowd. No, I don't, uh, I don't uh, agree with that uh, because other communities have low barrier houses. We are the fifth largest city in British Columbia and we have no low barrier housing. And so if that were true, then the people who are currently living in the streets of downtown Abbotsford would have moved to those places that, who do, or that do have low barriers. So no, I don't agree with that. Well, let's talk about sort of the overall image of Abbotsford and homeless people. The homeless camp obviously being one of the big sort of controversial stories. Uh, the chicken manure incident. For many people living outside of Abbotsford and perhaps, perhaps people inside Abbotsford, there seems to be an attitude uh, that's very negative towards a, this, you know, a group of people, a stereotypical group of people who uh, have addiction problems, have mental health issues, uh, people that they don't want in their backyards. I is that true? I mean, I'm looking from the outside in. Well, certainly there would be some people, I have met some citizens who would have that view, but that's a very small number. Uh, most people in Abbotsford uh, are not happy with the reputation that we have gained because it's not representative of our city. Mm -hmm. We're a very, we're, we're the most giving city in all of Canada on a per capita basis. We're, and I, having lived there, I also know for 60 years, I know that it is also a very caring community. And so our community doesn't deserve the black eye it's received. So what's the hang up here? Well, it's a zoning issue uh, to some degree, but uh, that's been known for a long time with council, so we've gone along that process. And uh, at the last 11th and a half hour, an uh, alternate site came up that uh, swayed some members. I, I know there's one member of council who voted against this who has a huge heart for the homeless. 
And if it were not for that alternate site, and I don't know how that came, became uh, or came into the picture, this would this would vote passed. would have passed, in so my view. But that's speculation at this point. Right. Part. Nadine, do you know about this alternate site? This alternate site they're talking about is the old MSA hospital site. And it's not a viable um, site at this time. It's speculation. It's premature. It would take years to get to that point, And we need housing now. Mm -hmm. And the key, though, to people who might favour that site is that it was outside of this specifically zoned downtown core area. Correct. I find it interesting because looking on a map, you're literally like a couple blocks within that area. It's not like you're right in the centre of it, is it? Mm -hmm. You're just sort of on the periphery. Correct. We're right on the edge of the downtown core. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so it wouldn't have been a huge, one would think, issue to just grant you that little bit of wiggle room. I think you're right, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, uh, you know, like I said, watching from the outside, it is, it is quite interesting. There are other municipalities around here absolutely shaking their heads because of all the money that was already committed by a government agency, BC Housing, and Abbotsford said no to. I mean, yes, $15.3 million. And I, I'm not privy to the agreement between Abbotsford Community Services and the province, BC Housing. But I would think over a 60 year period, common sense would tell me that there has to be some, there's probably likely an escalator clause in there. So it's actually probably more than that that we said no to. Much discussion after the vote on that? No, not at council. Uh, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, until we get a letter, the city and Abbotsford Community Services from BC Housing that this is dead, I'm going to do whatever I can to try to pull this out of the fire, so to speak. We'd like to see that too. We're behind you on that one. Has BC Housing said anything to you in regards to, sorry, you know what, we've been turned down, we've had it, we're taking our money elsewhere? BC Housing's statement, um, which has been in the newspaper and on Global News, I think, as well, um, says that they don't partner with, in, with cities and municipalities that don't want supportive housing. That's a pretty telling statement. Mm -hmm. And that came after the vote? That came after the vote. Mm -hmm. So how... Are you feeling encouraged after what you saw today at City Hall and the, the outpouring of support? I am encouraged. You know, one thing that I saw this week that I haven't seen before is three separate instances where individuals in the community have gone down to street level and actually have been talking to homeless men and eye to eye, face to face, actually having conversations. And maybe that's just happenstance, but I haven't seen that before. And I'm seeing a different kind of Abbotsford that I've seen before. And if it took the ending of a project in order for that to happen, then it's worth it. But that, I want to see another project happening. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to see us having a low barrier housing initiative for men. We need that in our community. It might not be this one, but we need to see one happen and we need to see one happen soon. I love what Councillor Braun, I love what Councillor Ross, Councillor Gill, Councillor um, uh, Dave Lowen are saying is that we need to see that happen soon. Mm -hmm. We need to see it happen now. So let's make it happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the need's critical and, and it's long overdue. So what's the next step? Uh, well, I actually don't know what the next step will be. Council will meet a week from now and uh, I think this might be a topic of discussion for uh, a closed session, mm -hmm. but that's speculation. I haven't seen the agenda. No. It's always fascinating to me because in a situation like this, you know, as the decision makers, you have an opportunity to shine. You have an opportunity to show the way. You have an mm -hmm. opportunity to lead. Or you can just shut it all down and say we don't want to do it here. Yeah. And Abbotsford has led in lots of areas. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so I'm looking forward to adding one more to that list. All Thanks. right. Councillor Henry Braun, Nadine Power and Rod Santiago, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.